Oke, okay, hi and my name is Muhammad Khairuddin bin Muhammad. I'm from program Computer Network Engineering RK93 and my supervisor is Associate Professor Dr. Azrami bin Abdullah Al Hadi. My uh, project title is IoT based smart manufacturing monitoring and controlling system introduction for the project overview uh, this project is to develop an iot based smart manufacturing monitoring and controlling system this purpose of this project is to design a prototype of monitoring system in manufacturing industry with the help of some sensors. The system can collect the data from the sensor and through the mobile apps. So the production line or technician doesn't, doesn't need to monitor it manually. Okay, problem statement. The first point is in the manufacturing industry, worker safety is the first priority. Lack of the machine safety can lead to workers' dangerous situation. For the second point is engineer have a hard time to determine the condition of the machine time by time because of they are using the instrument. For the objective is the first point is to develop a monitoring system consists of vibration, temperature and humidity sensor on embed, embedded platform. For the second ob objective if, is to develop mobile apps that can process the data from the cloud to user interface and control the system using the apps in real time. Okay, for the scope of project, this research is made to develop a prototype of smart manufacturing and controlling system. This project will consist two parts which is hardware and software. For the hardware part, Arduino will be used as a microcontroller and several sensors which is vibration, temperature and humidity sensor to get the input. The sensor will measure the current condition of the machine to get the real-time data. For the software part, an Arduino app will be created used to obtain the real-time data from the system by connecting the by connecting with the node MCU and fervor IoT as a cloud server so that the system will be monitored by using mobile app okay this uh, for my literature review Okay, methodology. Overview of the project. The overview overview of the project uh, I divide by three phase, which is phase one is sensor technology, phase two is integration of microcontroller, and phase three is implementation of IoT. For the hardware requirement, uh, I use uh, Arduino Uno uh, DHT22 as temperature and humidity sensor, DSL335 for vibration sensor, uh, relay one channel is used to control the current, and node MCU is used as the connection from the Arduino to the cloud. 
uh, for the software requirement I use uh, Arduino IDE to make a code uh, uh, favor IoT as a cloud server to get the data from the uh, Arduino hardware and MIT app inventor as the mobile apps okay for the block diagram the uh, sensor will be connected to the Arduino which is uh, vibration temperature and humidity sensor connected to the Arduino and uh, the data from the sensor uh, will be sent to the club uh, through the node MCU uh, and uh, the relay is used to switch uh, on off the 5 volt DC fan ok flow chart uh, Arduino first uh, we initiate the Arduino and the Arduino will read the uh, vibra vibration sensor uh, temperature and humid humidity sensor uh, then the data will be sent to the node MCU for the temperature sensor the, uh, uh, the condition is if the temperature is uh, exceed uh, 40 degree or or exceed the uh, limit of threshold value the on with and uh, the fan will be switched on okay for the flowchart of not mcu uh, firstly uh, the system we initialize the not mcu uh, either it is connected or not and then if it's connected uh, it will uh, get uh, the data from the Arduino uh, from this state if the Arduino uh, uh, it, if it receive uh, data from Arduino it will send the data to the cloud and then uh, to the mobile apps ok this is uh, the circuit, circuit uh, diagram ok uh, result test on 5, five volt DC motor uh, this is a uh, result uh, before 5 volt uh, DC motor uh, turn on ok in this method Arduino is used along with the ADSL335 which me measure the vibration from the motor and give the digital out output after upload the program after verifying and compiling the program in Arduino uh, select the graph board from favor IoT which results in the accelerometer reading in X, Y, Z and Z direction which will be displayed the line chart graph is plotted on graph board in favor IoT club the plot graph is considered as the result of the experiment if plot that graph show minimum amplitude in the wave it means motor is healthy and other case if the plotted uh, waveform have maximum level of amplitude it means the condition of motor is not good motor is in faulty condition the result after 5 volt DC motor turn on ok this is a uh, line chart for the DXL335 vibration sensor uh, as you can see uh, the plotted waveform uh, have the maximum level of amplitude 
uh, so uh, it means the condition of motor is in not good uh, condition and uh, because the condition of the motor have exceed the threshold value the user will get the notification in email to not to notify to alert the user so the user can take the uh, action in conclusion the objective for this project have been achieved uh, technique in this project helps to predict the early fault detection by using that advanced technology in that motor this project shows the small technique which have the great capability to identify the faulty with uh, proper accuracy in the machine. The healthy of the machine must be monitored and preferred measurement taken. Uh, for the recommendation is first point is uh, adding more sensors so user can get more information of machine healthy and can be used to determine the failure of machine instead of only relies on temperature and vibration sensor second is uh, uh, use multiple nodes of sensor network should be created so that the system can monitor more machine in the lab and not limited to only one machine okay uh, that's all for my slide and thank you Thank <laughs> you.